Hello and welcome to a new video from Digi Design Resort. My name is Monia and in this video I want to show you how to draw a unicorn. And here is what you need. So first of all we need some watercolor paper. Then brush pen set. A pencil set. A rubber. Then a Sabilo pen, a Micron fine liner, and a white Sharpie. And then we can get started. I first sketch my unicorn because I want to be able to wrap things off if I don't need them anymore. And um, I use the watercolor paper, and that means I need a very bold pencil to make sure that I can get rid of the lines a little later, or maybe I don't get rid at all and just color it. And um, even then, I need a very bold pencil so to make sure it's not too obvious so and that is a reason why you do not see that much right now uh, when I sketch the unicorn but I promise that will get different in just a little bit So once I'm done sketching, I use the water tank brush and really make this wet. So the reason is I want to have a watercolor look and that means I need the colors to be able to flow over the paper and that's why I just go over the whole thing or here over the head and just make sure it has really yeah, some water on it. And once I'm done with that, I start with the light rose yeah here so um, I just give on a little bit of color to make sure it doesn't shine through the white doesn't shine through once I switch to the darker pen so you will see me just uh, using the dark pink in just a second I just want uh, to color it a little bit and then I go over here with the other pen you see it already starts to uh, get into each other to flow into each other and uh, then I give on a little bit more water and the more water I put on the better it looks actually and now when I go in with a yellow brush pen yeah you see uh, I still need a lot of water because it's a very strong color. Yeah. 
you once again see me adding water because I really want to have a very light blended in and then I can add a little bit more of green and into the into the yellow so it's not that obvious but uh, still there so just a very light and pastel I usually start with a light blue and then blend in the darker blue but now I just use a little bit of the dark blue because I want to draw the hair and then I come on with a blue with a light blue and add a bit of that and then go into the ears again here's no right or wrong way you don't have to do it like me at all you just have to understand the technique so use a lot of water and then use better the lighter brush pen and then the darker brush pen and then go on with that you don't have to be drawing that quick because it's not that the water is drying in a second yeah so you just can add water all the time it doesn't matter and you see it always takes me a little bit to decide on another color and then blend in again and then I go on the bottom once again and if I'm not happy I just go ahead and add more water so that works also a little later and uh, you just go on and give it a little bit of depth and um, you know with with a different colors it's always good to give a little bit of depth into your image whatever you are painting actually Here on the feet I'm going to use another technique I will start of course with with water as you have seen but then I start with the darker colors and blend in the brighter ones you can do that as well you just need to know that this technique is completely different and even if you start uh, not using water at all or not that much water it's also getting a complete different touch and you see it's getting here much darker than on the top if you want that you go on like I am doing right now but of course you can also keep going on like uh, you did with the hat I just want to show you different techniques here in one image So I'm more or less done now you see me having a little bit of white space and that is how I want it for now maybe I go over it later but now I just want a bit of white here and now I want bold lines <laughs> so maybe you don't feel like you should do that that's okay of course you don't need to do that it depends what you need your unicorn for later you can create a t-shirt or you have just something for your bullet journal or you just have a drawing for your wall whatever so make sure you you basically know what this is for what it, it has to look like and then you can start adding bold lines or not at all so just having a watercolor painting that's also great so again no right or wrong here just know about the differences
So once I'm done, I use the Savilo pen because I just wanted to give it a little bit more of a graphic style. So I'm just uh, drawing a little bit of graphic into the unicorn just because I want it. You don't have to do it at all, of course. And then I'm also using a white sharpie and adding uh, some dots and some lines here and there. So just to give it something special. It doesn't have to be that, you know, yeah, simple <laughs> after all. And uh, you can just keep on adding a little bit more of depth and more of white here, just as you want. So that's it from me for today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Also please don't forget, this is what we have draw been drawing here. If you don't feel like drawing at all, you can always go to our store and if you do so, you will not just find the freebie with a complete free drawing instruction, which means I show you step by step how to draw this unicorn. Maybe just to help, you can get it totally free, print it out and use it to your own liking. And then we also have the unicorn there which is traced and you can basically make it as big as you like and use it for whatever you like. So don't forget to, to hit over and have a look there. So until then, bye!